Hello my dear colleagues, this is a new algebra lesson, order of operations. In this lesson, we can know how to order our operations, what to do first and what to do last, the multiplication, the division, the addition and subtraction, and uh, solving between brackets and the exponential, and so on. What is the order of operations? The order of operation is the order you must follow. And when I say must, I mean it. Yes, you must follow in solving equations based on mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponent, and then ex exponentiation. And what is exponentiation? Is powering like squaring, cubic, and so on when they are consecutive. Consecutive means one after another. Why we must do this order? Because any negligible uh, defect will generate another value like what we can see uh, so you must follow this uh, order of operations on the calculator or even when you are doing it uh, on a paper to generate the true value and the right value and not to have any like misconception okay what is the methodology of this order there are four main steps you must follow first of all to solve what are between brackets solve between brackets and the second is to solve the exponents or the powering and then you multiply or divide and at last you add or subtract here you can see that multiplication and division has, has the same priority and adding and subtracting have the same priority both as important as another the first example we have here is solve 5 plus 2 or all to the power 2 minus 6 over 4 plus 3 here I totally wrong because I didn't order them I didn't mention the brackets I didn't mention uh, the exponent related to what because here without the brackets I can have a different uh, value uh, while with it because here the exponent is related to the summation between brackets which equals 5 plus 2 equals 7 not for 2 only not for 5 only so the first step is to solve between brackets uh, so and 5 plus 2 equals 7 so it is uh, we can rewrite it 7 power 2 minus 6 over 4 plus 3 and then we solve the exponent yes 7 to the power 2 which is 49 which is uh, so we can rewrite it 49 minus 6 over 4 plus 3 the third the priority is uh, here is multiplication or division and 6 over 4 had a great priority uh, then 4, min uh, 4 plus 3 or 49 minus 6 so we can solve 6 over 4 with 1.5 so we have here uh, 49 minus 1.5 plus 3 and the last step here we can see that have we have a, a subtraction and an addition and both have the same priority so 49 minus 1.5 plus 3 equals 49 plus 1.5 equals 50.5 but uh, can we refollow the methodology one more time or two more times like loops? Yes, we can take it like loops. But in this example, somehow sophisticated, it is the square root of 6 plus 6 over 2 plus 7. The uh, right uh, pronunciation of this formula is the square root of 6 plus 6 o, uh, uh, over 2 plus 7 and first of all we can solve what are between brackets which is 6 plus 6 over 2 but uh, to solve 6 plus 6 or to solve 6 over 2 first we here uh, gonna have the exponent what is the exponent the root yes the exponent the root is a, a exponent of uh, 0 0.5 so we here first of all we have the division 6 over 2 equals 3 and 6 plus 3 equals 9 and the square root of 9 equal here uh, this denation means the positive square root of 9 because the, the square root like this is the positive denation so it will be 3 not positive or negative 3 it will be 3 3 plus 7 equals 10 and this is the solving for this sophisticated formula and now in a nutshell we can say why we study this lesson why we must know the order of operation because simply 5 plus 2 over 3 and 5 plus 2 over 3 they both have the same values and the same operators but totally different 
values because 5 plus 2 over 3 here we can have the priority of division and 2 over 3 plus 5 equals 17 over 3 while when I have another priority like putting between brackets it will be 5 plus 2 over 3 I first do what they are between brackets which is 5 plus 2 equals 7 and then divide by 3 equals 7 over 3 if you know why if you didn't know why I study this lesson ask yourself is 17 over 3 equal 7 over 3 thanks for watching